What's going on everybody, my name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today it looks like Zach Levine, I guess his agent at least, has responded to a little bit of the backlash that's been going on. He's been criticised a lot, Zach Levine, over the last couple of days and I think it's just because fans are frustrated that he hasn't really been traded from the Chicago Bulls as of yet and we don't know if that is going to happen or not. So frustration is starting to grow and with that being said, the blame game is being tossed around left, right and centre and it looks like at least... Zach Levine's response is coming from his agent. Is that the right thing to do? What did his agent say? We're going to discuss these things and more in this video. But before we get any further, if you like the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow, and or subscribe if you are new. And let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls and Zach Levine. Can this relationship be restored? And by restored, I don't necessarily mean will he stay a Chicago Bulls player, but restored in the sense of fans will remember him positively once he leaves. Can that relationship be restored with the fans and Zach Levine? If I remember, I will give my answer towards the end of the video, but I think I've already said it in the past. Uh, I don't think it's that far gone out of conclusion that Zach Levine could potentially restore that relationship. But with that being said, what did his agent say about this current situation with Zach Levine? Well, a tweet from Casey Johnson has the quotes in detail, and it says this. A lot has taken place during his time with the Bulls, and he's taken the high road every time. So essentially, this, I guess what Rich Paul is saying is that there's so much things that we don't know about when it comes to um, Zach Levine and the Bulls at this current point in time in which Zach Levine has taken that high road. So look, it's, in my eyes at least, this is kind of an irrelevant comment just because... We're not going to know, personally, the high road that Zach Levine has taken. We don't necessarily know what the Bulls are putting Zach Levine through at this point in time. We don't know any of those situations. We don't know the events. These are all behind closed door circumstances. We will probably never know these events unless Zach Levine or his agent at this point is just going to come out and speak for him and say, this is what the Bulls were doing behind the scenes. This is how Zach Levine took the high road. Until we actually know the details, I kind of view this as an irrelevant comment in many ways. But... It's also a comment that, that gets under my skin a little bit as a Bulls fan for a couple of reasons. Number one, I wish Zach Levine could come out and speak himself about situations because I feel like his agent is making him look really bad at the moment. When Zach Levine wanted a trade, it was his agent that was kind of speaking out on behalf of Zach Levine. When Zach Levine wanted to undergo the season-ending surgery, it was his agent that was kind of doing, um, speaking on behalf of Zach Levine uh, when it comes to him and the Chicago Bulls. And now all of this stuff, it's his agent speaking. Zach Levine, I feel like, has not said a single word. And that reflects badly on Zach Levine. And I think it's very clear that not many people, at least fans, like Rich Paul at this point in time. And that is because sometimes he doesn't necessarily Necessarily reflect himself as the nice guy in terms of the NBA. Sometimes he does things and he makes certain moves that makes you question his morale as an agent. That's how I feel personally when it comes to Rich Paul. Some people might disagree. Some people will agree. I don't know the man. So of course, I could most definitely be wrong. And I don't want to say what I guess that statement as a pure fact in many ways but that's kind of the vibe i get with rich paul and this is definitely not a flattering comment for zach levine as well um because we just don't know the details and until we do know the details how are we going to say anything about zach levine taking the high road or not but I do believe, and I will stand by this statement when it comes to Zach Levine, a lot of the frustration is because we want him traded. He has said, he's through his agent, that he wants to be traded, and it's the frustration of him not being traded. That's all I think it is. If eventually Zach Levine gets traded from the Chicago Bulls, I do see a circumstance where we will forget what most things happen in this time period, and you look back three, four, five years down the line, and people are going to say Zach Levine was a decent player for the Chicago Bulls and people do people will still will say they miss him or they liked him whatever the case may be that's what I feel will happen with Zach Levine as bad as this sounds in many ways and as, as bad as Zach Levine not speaking at all and having his agent kind of do all the talking and his agent trying to defend the player keep in mind 
Rich Paul is Zach Levine's agent, not the Chicago Bulls agent. So let's not pretend this isn't a one-sided statement either uh, in terms of Rich Paul. He's obviously defending his clients here, saying that it's his client that's taking the high road. It's not, oh, the Bulls are uh, being completely, you know, reasonable and fair. They're being honest. Of course, he's not going to say that when situations like this occur, right? But with that being said, of course, I'd like to see Zach Levine speak out on these certain situations just a little bit more. It'd be nice to hear from the player rather Rather than the agent in many ways is what I'm trying to say as well. Um, so yeah, I kind of lost a little bit of a tangent where I was going with that statement. But look, at the end of the day, when it comes to Zach Levine, I think we'll remember him fondly once he does leave the Chicago Bulls. But the longer this drags on, the longer this keeps on going, the longer he remains a Bull, the more frustration it's going to be. Because it's clear we want to go in a different direction. It's clear that Zach Levine wants to go in a different direction. We just have to find the trade. We need to find some team to work with the, with us at this point. Because I, I, I find it incredible that he hasn't been traded yet in all honesty. So we need to find the right deal. We need to find the right team. Heck, we just need to find a team in general at this point in time. And, um, and stuff of that nature. But the last thing I want to say when it comes to taking the high road... I remember a report that came out a couple of days ago about this situation saying that they believe that Zach Levine, or the Bulls, I should say, believe that Zach Levine opting for season-ending surgery when it could have been rehabbed was considered a low blow uh, on behalf of Zach Levine. If that statement is true, then clearly there's contradicting stories saying that Zach Levine is take, uh, was taking the high road. The Bulls obviously don't view that as the high road in many ways. The Bulls don't view that as a situation that was considered... Yep, we're going to take the high road on this one. So, I don't know. This is the problem when two parties, if we're going to talk on law perspectives, are fighting amongst each other. The, the truth is probably somewhere in between. The Bulls probably did things to Zach Levine that we'll probably never know about, and Zach Levine probably did take the high road on those statements. And Zach Levine did some things for the Bulls that probably cost us in trade situations. I think it's somewhere in between. In many, many, many cases, in many cases, it's not always 100% innocent or 100% guilty. There's always a fine line. There's always a middleman in many ways. There's always something there at the end of the day, in most cases, of course. And with that being said, you just have to realize that this is one side of an argument. The Bulls have probably reported their side of an argument, or someone has reported the Bulls' side of the argument. The truth is somewhere in the middle. And that's something we have to keep on board. So for those people slandering Zach Levine at this point in time, just keep in mind that it's not all Zach Levine in this situation. The Bulls have to be the one to pull the trigger on the trade. The Bulls have to be the one to find the partner in the trade. And at the end of the day, they have some blame in this responsibility as well. Again, the truth is somewhere in the middle. So... With that being said, I cannot believe that we're talking about this situation right now. Again, this seems like petty high school drama in many ways. And it's not necessarily something I like talking about on YouTube. But lo and behold, we're still waiting on a lot of things. We're waiting for potential Levine or Lonzo trades. We are waiting for potential Vucevic trades. We are waiting for DeMar DeRozan to join a team or to heck even resign here. We're waiting for these things. So this actually is the talk of the town right now for the Bulls until we figure that out. It's crazy, isn't it? But yeah, let's end the drama. Let's put it to bed. We talked about it. It's all good now. We'll move on. Whoever's fault it is, I honestly don't care. As long as the right outcome comes from this, I will be a happy Bulls fan. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Drop a like and a follow and or subscribe if you are new. As I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, yes, I believe the relationship between the fans and Levine can be restored. Everything um, recovers with time. Right now, it's going to hurt. It's going to sting. People will be sad to see him go. People will be happy to see him go. But in three, four years' time, you'll probably remember some of Levine's moments fondly as he was a player that stayed with us through a lot of very hard times and produced some very entertaining moments. And that is something that will be remembered. So, we'll see what happens. Have a wonderful and safe day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more. Take care. And peace.